So I'm not going to do like the normal intro today. I'm just going to do an in-game one. You guys got to let me know if you guys enjoy this or if you want the green screen one back. But basically today I'm going to be redesigning my netherwork farm in preparation for next video, which I will reveal the end of course. Basically my netherwork farm design right now is extremely inefficient and can use major upgrades. So I'm going to completely be destroying it and then building a new one up from the ground. I'm not going to be using the 5 by one plot design. I'm just going to scale it over two plots. So yeah, let me get right into the building. The plan for the farm is of course going to be clearing out this like all the way down to bedrock. I'm going to clear it out and then I'm going to build the farm two layers up. I'm going to build it in two layers just for two reasons. I think one layer might be enough, but if multiple people are going to farm netherwort at the same time, we're going to need more than one layer. And it's just to be extra sure that like with chunk loading and stuff, it's completely infinite. So I'm going to start with step one, which is to clear out the current farm. Luckily, we're making the sugarcane farm. Same the preset for a bedrock bottom, but it's not completely like all right on this plot i'm gonna paste the clear preset there we go it's pasting you can see the clear preset is not completely current i am going to have to clear out these dirt things using a shovel so yeah, let me clear out both of these plots and i'll get back to you guys once both of them have been cleared out both plots have now been fully cleared out and i kind of want to go for a five layer design so basically another wart is going to get planted here and when it's fully grown i'm going to use the patchers feature to be able to break nether wart that's fully grown like as if it has 1.12.2 hit boxes as you can see, one of these has partially grown and it has a bigger hitbox than the other ones. I'm going to use that fact to only hit the nether warts that are fully grown and not hit the nether warts that are not fully grown. Hence, so making the farm a lot more efficient. I'm going to finish up this bottom layer and I'm going to get back to you guys. The first layer is now built and I think I'm just going to build a second layer. I don't think I'm going to do a third because if the first layer is infinite, that means we can have at least two people farming nether wart. If it's not infinite, then I can just use the second layer to farm myself. There's no real reason to have a third layer. Next clip will be once the third layer is done. The second layer of the farm is now done and i'll show you guys what i mean by like the re replenish thing basically if i break the nether wart at this angle right here it's going to break all of them now if i've hit it again it's not going to break the babies you see what i mean so i can technically run across it like this and it will break all the nether wart. obviously i'm not using the correct speed and stuff right now but at 93 percent speed holding a and a d i'll be able to break all of them and be super efficient but i'm going to farm the entire bottom layer and tell you guys number one how much time it took and number two how much money i got actually scratch that i'm just gonna do a 20 minute test and i'm gonna multiply the results by three so yeah let me go get to some farming from those 20 minutes i got 23 mutant netherwort which is almost three mil if you multiply that by three we would have around nine mil an hour maybe a bit less like 8.8 .8 mil an hour but nonetheless i'm very satisfied also i got a contest starting in a minute and 58 seconds so i'm gonna serve these visitors real quick if i have time then i'm gonna do the contest and i'm gonna serve even more visitors as i want to end off the video with some of that but you guys know how i did in the contest in that nether warp contest, I got 576,000 items collected. I didn't even get silver. Like, I don't even know if gold is macroing at this point. They're at 811k. Somebody, please tell me in the comments if it's actually possible to get gold. Or if all everybody in gold is just like macroing slash nuking at nether warp. Anyway, on a more positive note, I got some of these visitors here. And I got all the items I need to serve. Like, oh, there's Lumberjack, Plumber Joe, Old Man Gary. Haven't served him before. Arthur, Oringo, and oh, Fisherman came. Ready, Mr. Fisherman, there you go. Also, as I've promised everybody in the last video, or I don't even know if it was the last video, maybe the video before. Anyways, I said I would do all composter upgrades after each video. So let me get the materials ready to upgrade this composter once again. All right, so I got all the materials, so I'm just gonna upgrade the composter now. It was composter speed, multi drop fuel cap, organic matter, and cost reduction. And I hit scab bulk level 158, nice. This is costing a lot to upgrade to the next levels now. I think I'm gonna upgrade the rest of these to six and just chill on this one. So the rest of these can still be upgradable but this one is going to cost a lot yeah, i think that will do it for this video next video will be me farming and spending stupid amounts of money to like recon my armor recon my equipment maybe even get some even more green thumb books on my equipment so yeah i'll see you guys then